we have always wanted to see was Star Blade a successful game. So Star Blade, I think, was very successful at the very beginning of its launch, but the game has gotten kind of gotten become forgotten. Okay, and, and outside of R thirty four, obviously, but Star Blade has kind of become forgotten. Like no, outside of the Phantom Menace and R thirty four, no one talks about Star Blade anymore. Okay, but basically. The developer of Goddess of Victory, Nikki O, that they're also made by the same developer. Uh, I actually thought Goddess of Nikki Victory, Nikki was a Japanese game, but apparently, it seems that China and Korea are being again. It seems that Japan is turned to a woke country, unfortunately. But yeah, but Sift Up's revenue has increased. This is 65%. So, this is, again, Sift Up is an indie developer, I think. They're not a major developer. I think now they are, but... The, the Goddess Victory Nikki and Celebrate about $19 million for the quarter. So, the profit revenue for this game is big. I think if they really want Celebrate, you know, and their games to be more successful, they should try to make their games multi-platform. I get it hurts to say this, but... I think they're really leaving a lot of sales on the table by refusing to put the game on Nintendo Switch and PC and Xbox. Because, you know, I get Sony probably paid them to put the game exclusively on the PS5, but they're leaving a lot of money on the table, especially not putting it on PC and Switch, okay? You know, those are those two markets are much bigger. You know, especially if they don't release it on the Switch, too. It will be a big, big fool. Sift Up would be a big, big fool if they don't release Celebrate on the Switch 2. Okay, big fool. Okay, because the Switch 2, I think, is going to be very successful as well. That's like the first Switch console. Okay, and, and you know, there'll be, if these full party companies still refuse to put games on Nintendo after the, if this is, after the Switch 2 success, I have no hope for them. Okay, but apparently we're getting full party games on the Switch 2. But PC, like, why didn't they put this game on PC? Okay, apparently they're making DLC for it. For Stellar Blade, apparently, yo, know, and sequel. The game's getting a sequel, yo. Know, but apparently, Stellar Blade has been successful. So, uh, congratulations on Sift Up. You know, it didn't save gaming like people thought it would, but hey, it was a successful game. But hopefully, you know, people it wakes up people. Same thing with this game called like. I'm so upset that Black Myth Wukong is not coming to Xbox, but hey, I can get it on PC if I really want to play the game that badly. Okay, I can get it on my computer. Okay, you know, I, I don't know if I'll be able to run the game, but because it's a new, new game, okay? My computer can run like 10 year old. I like, I got a, I didn't get a high end computer. I got a, it can, it can run Borderlands, it can run Civilization, it can run Gold Simulator, it can run uh, Far Cry 5, it can run Xbox, it's like this Xbox One PS4 power computer, okay? It can run those games. I, I don't think it can run Black Myth Wukong without, you know, significant drop in graphics, okay? It can probably run Ark Survival of All because Ark can run PS4 and Xbox One quite fine as well. But yeah, I think they'll be making a major mistake if the game isn't on the Nintendo console, okay? Nintendo Switch 2, okay? Say for this Nikki game, okay? I think they'll be making a big mistake if it is on on Nintendo console, okay? Yeah, but they're adding DLCs for the game. Apparently, it's under review, okay? Which means the game has been successful enough because they gotta realize this game is like a, it's an, it's an indie game. This is an indie studio. They're not a major studio like Capcom, so they don't they don't have the money like a major studio does, okay? You know, they don't have the same amount of money like Capcom does or Square does. Okay. But it is pretty interesting to see other countries now start to create games outside of America and Japan, the UK, and, you know, and, you know, like, I'm all for other countries making games. Okay. I'm, I, you know, obviously, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we get Saudi Arabian games and Middle Eastern games from United Arab Emirates as well. Those are two other co- countries that are investing a lot into video games. You know, the gaming market, the Middle Eastern gaming market as well, you know, as well, you know. And of course, we can't forget about India. India could be a rising game development company as well, country as well, you know. 
it will be a real battle between the Western and the non-Western countries. One hundred percent. Or you can see South American game developers like a lot of people criticize Far Cry Six, you know, for pandering for towards South America, you know, but. South writers in South America and Central and Latin America make their own games. You know, it's you know a lot of you know these con- these countries you know can definitely sow the rest a big lesson in game development. Okay, even Africa, okay, you know can develop can have their own game development as well. Outside of South Africa, like I think Africa or the ways off of having games developed by African game companies, but. Korea, um, China, and India, I think it could be the upcoming, and of course, Saudi Arabia and UAE will be the upcoming game development giants. Goodbye.